now welcome back again to the channel I do agree uh, today we're going to do a video all on uh, winter feed or fodder uh, it's just a fodder is just another word for feed for for livestock cattle sheep horses goats whatever you have that way um, comes in many forms you'd have silage silage which is just a uh, fermented Fermented grasses, um, you have hay which is dried out, wilted grass that has baled. Um, you could feed them barley straw, whole crop, maize, etc. etc. But on this farm, we just use um, silage and hay, majority of silage for the cattle. Uh, if we had sheep, they'd, they'd just be eating with, um, the hay during the winter months but um so yeah the majority is silage silage would be a slightly wetter crop it wouldn't have to be as dry uh when it's baled it's baled and wrapped in a polyurethane wrap black usually um keeps the oxygen out and allows for fermentation to take place inside in the bale and that creates um silage which is then preserved um, and you can use for the, that winter or the following winter uh, if it is wrapped well enough but um, yeah so we don't do any pit silage on this farm we just use round bales of hay and round bales of silage no square bales either um, so today I'll be putting out a bale a round bale of silage it's actually two years old this stuff um, but it was kept very well and it is lovely silage they um, there's not much waste on it either that way so we're putting out a bale here with the grab hands the soft hands I mean um, we've only had this tractor and this setup for about a year now as well so this isn't the, the way we used to do it we used to we used to be foddering with the the bale lifter and we always store the bales standing up because um, they don't sag that way. They sag if they're stored laying down. Um, the only problem there being getting them out uh, in winter when you're trying to feed, it's not as easy with a bale lifter. We used to get a strap, tip them over, and then back into them that way. But uh, now we have the soft hands, and I just find you know it, they could be stored anyway, and you go and you pick them up. So the case here go and get a bale we'll put it down in the far end because we will be bringing in the other 12 cattle um on the first of november around then let's say so yeah let's get to it damage any bales that are beside it that you don't want to use yet so uh, just get in there and get a nice um, nice grip on the bale like such and then put it up power on and then you can lift it up out of there
So then I get my knife and I cut around cut around the bottom of the bale there um, and I just make sure not to not to hit the the net otherwise you'll probably leave um, you'll probably leave a ring of the netting in the in the side of yourself now this stuff there was very dry stuff from the two years ago uh, this is very dry and it has a bit of bit of waste in it there as well but uh mainly good um i don't know yeah it was very very dry wherever and whenever it was done so um yeah just cut around the bottom get rid of the plastic obviously now i'll stand it back up I'll put it in the middle of the bay there, cut off the plastic, unwrap all the netting, um, and that's that. Just from the center and down. Get out, get out. Shh, come on. They never have any patience. Now, we have our roll of netting and a bit of uh, silage wrap. They both get stored separately um, away for when they're brought in for recycling, um, usually around May, May time. I think it was later this year, but uh, they all get recycled. So then you don't have to put out too much um, feed in front of them, just a little will do and they can always pick at the bale if they need to, but uh, yeah this is, this is dry 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 stuff, it's a nuisance to work with too because it's so dry and it was chopped, so it's very fine and it um, just flies all over the place but they seem to like it nevertheless um, and what I do, you peel off a bit and always just take it from the outside obviously clean it up 
not make a big mess out of it. But like, um, that's plenty for them now. Now just a quick word on the outfit we use for the foddering. Um, as I said, we used to use a bay lifter on the Massey 265 and a strap to pull down the uh, the bales and back into them that way. But, um, and it did the job, it was fine. But uh, it was a bit of a nuisance the whole time. But uh, we so we've had these soft hands for a year. We had them last winter. We got them around July or August last year. And um, I found them to be just just um, a blessing to have for the winter. Like you don't have to worry about about grabbing a bale in from the haggard or out there. Um, they're great for hauling bales in the summer too when you're bringing in the bales. I think I think this is one of the best bits of kit on our farm. I really enjoy the the foddering with it, and. Um, yeah, if you have a front loader, I'd recommend you get a pair of soft hands as well. So that's all I'll say on that. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time.